Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to create a widget that displays a list of notifications with the name, image, message, and time of each notification. First, you need to create a notification screen class. Then, inside the main screen and inside the bottom navigation bar, we use this function will push the notification screen to the navigation stack and display it on top of the main screen. Next, we will copy the app bar widget from the card screen class that we created in the previous video and we change the icon. Next in body we use a single child scroll view widget to enable scrolling for the content of the screen, especially when the keyboard is displayed or the screen size is small. The child of the single child scroll view widget is a padding widget, which will add some space around the content. The child of the padding widget is a column widget. We set the children property to a list of widgets that will be the content of the column. We add a sized box widget which will create some vertical space above the title of the list. We add a text widget, which will display the text notification with a large and bold font style. We use the const keyword, which means the text widget is a constant value that will not change during the execution of the app. We add another size box widget which will create some vertical space below the title of the list. We add a list view dot builder widget which will create a scrollable list of widgets that are built on demand. We set the physics property to never scrollable scroll physics which will disable the scrolling of the list view. This is because we already have a single child scroll view widget that enables scrolling of the whole content. We set the shrink wrap property to true which will make the list view only occupy the space it needs. We set the item count property to demo notification dot length, which will be the number of items in the list. We use the demo notification variable, which is a variable that stores a list of notification model objects that represent the notifications. We set the item builder property to a function that takes a context and an index parameters and returns a widget for each item in the list. We use the notification tile function to create a custom widget that displays the details of each notification. We pass the demo notification index object as an argument to the function, which will be the notification model for the item at the index position of the list. Now we create a notification tile function. We use the notification model type as a parameter for the function, which is a class that defines the properties of a notification, such as the name, image, message, and time. We return a column widget, which will display the content of the notification in a vertical direction. In children, we add a list tile widget, which will display a tile with a leading title and subtitle widgets. We set the leading property to a clipper rect widget, which will clip the child of the tile to a rounded rectangle shape. We set the border radius property to border radius circular 60, which will create rounded corners for the clip with a radius of 60 pixels. The child of the clip rect widget is an image widget. We use the image property of the notification model object to get the asset name of the image. 
we set the fit property to box fit cover, which will make the image cover the entire space of the clip. We set the title property to a rich text widget, which will display the name and the message of the notification with different styles. We set the text property to a text span widget, which will create a text span with children text spans. We use the name property of the notification model object to get the name of the notification and set it as the text of the text span. We set the font size to 16, the font weight to bold and color to black. We set the children property to a list of text spans that will be the children of the text span. We add a text span widget, which will display the message of the notification with a gray color and a bold font style. We use the message property of the notification model object to get the message of the notification and concatenate it with a space to the text of the text span. We set the subtitle property to a text widget, which will display the time of the notification with a gray color. We use the time property of the notification model object to get the time of the notification and set it as the text of the text widget. We set the is3Line property to true, which will allow the tile to have three lines of text. Next, we add a divider widget, which will display a horizontal line with a light gray color below the tile. Finally, we add the cross-axis alignment property to cross-axis alignment start, which will align the content of the column to the start of the horizontal axis. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.